Delaware veteran and parents rights advocate Kim Petters has officially filed to run for state Senate. Petters has been a champion for parents rights here in the first state by standing up to the government establishment on behalf of the people. We got a chance to sit down with Petters just this morning right after she filed to run for the Republican nomination to represent the 16th Senate district. I am sitting outside the elections office in Dover. I officially filed this morning just now for Senate District 16. And well, I'm excited. I, it's time for a change. It's for, time for fresh, new, innovative ideas. I have solutions to bring to the table. You know, I'm a uh, retired military veteran. I served our country and fought during Iraqi freedom. I am a mother to four beautiful children across the Caesar Rodney School District. I have been a voice for the parents. I have been a voice for veterans. I have spoken out um, against the unconstitutional gun laws. I am also the president of our state's largest, most active women's Second Amendment uh, supporting group. And I mean, that barely scratches the surface. I've been involved in quite a bit and, uh, and I'm ready. I, it's time for a fresh new blood. People should support me because I'm not just another career politician. I am one of you. I am among this community, living this life. My children actually do attend these schools. I understand what it's like to be a middle-class Delawarean, and I am here to help you. Petters is both the founder and president of the state's largest and most active women's Second Amendment group, the Women's Defense Coalition. She is running against incumbent Senator Colin Benini. This marks the first time that anyone has ever primaried him in a Senate race.